all of you can see here there are three and three uh, parallel lines and transversal i have drawn here you can see here in the first one in the first one you can see there is a different type of angle in the second one you can see the angles are here and in the third one angles are here this is just to um, highlight the different types of angles okay these all angles can be in one uh, they are all in one uh, one figure, one angle, we can say, right? One parallel line, we can say that. But here I am just going to explain you in different pictures, okay? So in the first one, you can identify these angles. As you can see here, There is an, these angles are forming on X. When there's an, there are two angles forming on the X, these are called vertically opposite angles, okay? when there is an x and these angles are formed around x right on the uh, on the uh, each side of x so th these angle is called vertical opposite angles right and vertical opposite angles key property kya hoti hai the vertical opposite angles are equal okay equal means that if this is given if this one is given as 50 degrees then this one you have to find the other angle you don't know how much is this angle given so you can say that if this is 50 degree then this angle will also be 50 degree because they are vertically opposite or we can say uh, if there is no uh, like if the degrees are not given if the letters are given like for example over here it's angle a and this is angle b so you can say that angle a equals angle b okay why the reason is they are vertically opposite angles and vertically opposite angles are equal okay their value is same all right then in the second one you can see the angles th these two angles we can name them angle c and angle d all right we can see it say that angle c and angle d they are forming right above the c is on right above this line and you can see both and the d is on this line and you can see that both of these angles are uh, on the right side of a transversal transversal jo hai hamara ye transversal hai transversal ke same side par dono angles hain theek hai this is above this line the angle C is above this line, angle D is above this line and we can say that these two angles are corresponding angles and you all can see that which which letter is showing you that these are corresponding angle F okay here pe F ban rahe, and this F is telling you that these two angles are corresponding angles so whatever the angle C will be same as angle D if you have for example C given hai, 70 degree or you have to define D, then you will write D is also 70 degree because they are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal. Alright, corresponding angles are equal. Okay, then here in the last picture, these angles you can see these angles are on the other side of the transversal. This transversal is one angle transversal ki right side and the other angle transversal ki left side. Par hai. This is the right side of the transversal. This is the left side of the transversal. Both are in in inner angles. Dono jo hai wo parallel line ke andar wale angles hai. Ye parallel line ka inner angle hai. Ye wala angle is parallel line ka inner angle hai. Theek hai. If I name them, I can name them as E and F. So we can say that E will be equal to F because they are alternate angles and alternate angles are also equal okay alternate angles be equal hote hain now let's suppose agar e diya hua hai 40 degree to f bhi aapka kitna ho jayega f will also be 40 degree okay if there is a question that uh, e is given 40 degree how much is f so you can say f is also 40 degree because they are alternate angles and alternate angles are also equal so vertically opposite angles are equal Corresponding angles are equal, alternate angles are also equal, okay?